What's going on, everybody? Welcome to UW Marathon CS 540 Week 5 Probabilities. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to check nianiblog.com and click this image, and you are able to find this page. So, um, in this week, um, the topics is really about the calculation, and I believe this topic has already been covered um, in our high school. So here I just highlight um, several things during this um, tutorial. Uh, one is axiom of probabilities. Next, I'm going to talk about um, joint, uh, marginal, and conditional probabilities. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to introduce Bayes rule and give you guys some examples about how to do this calculation. Okay, let's take a look to the lecture. So um, first of all, I would like to talk about um, the joint probabilities. So what does joint probabilities talk about is basically um, the probability that two conditions are matched at some time and calculate their probabilities. So um, for example, here uh, we have a condition um, which is called A. And if we have another condition called B, um, and we want to calculate um, the probability that they will happen at some time, and that is the uh, error uh, that they um, overlap. However, um, for example, if we want to calculate the condition that A or B, here is um, and, and here is or. So if we want to check the probability for A or B, then that should be um, the area um, which is A plus B, and we need to minus the part um, overlaps since we calculate, uh, calculate this area twice. And that is what the first axiom um, that we are talking about today. So um, that is A um, or B equals to P A. That is the probability, uh, or we could say the area of A plus the area of B minus their overlapping area. However, one thing we have to pay attention here is um, this about this probability is these two um, actions must be uh, dependent. So there are some area overlapped. However, for example, if you flip a, a coin for two times, uh, each time is actually independent of each other and um, we cannot use this um, formula anymore. So for example, if the first coin, if throughout the first coin, for example, I want um, it to be top, and second coin, I want it to be bottom. So here we know, uh, and let's say this is the A, ac action A, and this is action B, uh, here is bottom. So um, I only see that satisfy these two conditions. So the throughout the first coin um, is top and second, um, coin is bottom. Uh, here we cannot use that anymore. Instead, here we just simply multiply them, and that is one fourth. So um, I believe this is very intuitive. So next, we're going to talk about a property uh, that is marginal probabilities. So here at the right um, corner, I draw a diagram. So there are two, actually um, four options. One is A1, A2, the other is B1 and B2. And these are the probabilities corresponding um, to the joint probability. So, for example, oh, 10 over 10, 1 over 10 is actually the probability of uh, the action A1 and B, B1 happen at the same time. So, if you want to check the probability A, pay attention here is A uh, instead of A1 or A2, and over, for example, B, um, B1, sorry, not this. Um, B1, then it is just equals to A1B plus A2B. Since A equals to A1 and A1 plus A2, and here is actually 1 over 10 plus 3 over 10, which is 4 over 10, or 2 over 5, or 0 for 4. So um, this, uh, this is uh, the marginal probability. Um, so if you want to like to calculate a, a certain probability, then you just need to add all of them together. Um, so this is pretty intuitive. 
So next, what we're going to talk about is conditional probability. As for conditional probability, is、um, by given a condition and calculate、um, the probability of a action. So, for example, here、um, the representation of the、um, condition is by using、uh, this, just a a line here.、Um, so, what does this mean? It's actually、uh, given the、uh, the action of B has already、uh, happened. So this is the condition, and you want to ask、uh, what's the probability of A. So,、uh, for example,、um, in lecture we talk about a flu and also a headache. So if you have a,、uh, it can give you the probability of headache, probability of flu, and want to calculate、uh, when you got a headache,、uh, what's the pro probability that you got a flu, something like this. So here,、uh, what it actually does is the formula here. Is、um, the probability that both A and B happens at that time, and divide by probability B. So、um, this is just you. You may think like this. So that is both of these happen、um, at the same time.、Um, later in the example, I will demonstrate this. But next, what I want to talk about is the base rule. So base rule is actually derived from.、Um, The conditional probability.、Um, so sometimes when we talk about this,、mm, it's hard to like. For example, if the question does not give you any hint about value、um, A and B, probably we need to、um, re reshape this formula. So what we can do is we can change、um, the denominator here. So Denominator is still the same,、um, and the denominator we change it to a here,、um, and since we already、um, have the p a here, so we can just reshape the formula, and actually this term is the same as、um, this term. So by given the condition of a and、um, calculate the probability of b. And here we just times P A, and then we just divide P B. So if, for example, the question、um, tells didn't tell you、uh, the value of here,、uh, which is the probability of A and B happen at the same time, then you can actually reshape the formula and do like this. So it might be helpful in some、um, cases. So just now we gave a. Only two、um, actions, which is P A over B. But what about, for example, there were three actions or even more? So pay attention here.、Um, the condition sign here is actually less、um, procedural,、uh, proceeding. Sorry. So it actually means、um, this one. So it's actually the same. And here we can just do something else.、Um, so first of all, we are still going to calculate. So we can first calculate、um, a b at the condition c. So、uh, this means when given the condition c, the action a and b happen at the same time, and it will divide、um, b over c. Actually, we can derive this. So the upper part is. Let me just do it here.、Um, P A B C. So three things happen at the same time, and、um, the divide by the probability of C.、Um, here is B C and derive the probability of C, and C and C cancel to each other. And you can actually see that these two formulas are actually the same. So、um, this is also helpful when you、uh, want to simplify the, the calculations here. And another probability here is, what if I want to、uh, find the probability that n action happen at some time? So yeah, it, it actually equals to this formula. So it will times 
A2 when A1 happened. A3, A1, and A2 happen at the same time. Da da da. And times last one. That is A n. A1, A2, da da da. A n minus 1. So it's also very easy to prove. Um, so first one is A1 equals to A1. And at times P A1, A2, and divided by P A1. Third term is P A1, A2, and A3 divided by A1 and A2. So you can actually see um, it will cancel to each other. So uh, first term, second term, A1 cancel each other. Um, this A1, A2 term will cancel each other as well. And at very last, it will just be a1 dot dot until a n, and here is a1 dot dot a n minus one. So this will cancel with the term before, and the only two terms left are these two terms. So they're um, equal to each other. Um, this formula can sometimes also um, simplify the calculation, especially when um, the the question did not offer you um, this this value instead it gives you a lot of um, the values by giving some condition so um, you can actually transfer this back to that and you are able to get the um, answer so next to summarize I would like to give a a problem um, in our lecture notes so here are two envelopes and each envelope contains two coins three of the coins are white and one of them is red so the condition here is a person have already opened an envelope and pick out one coin and find the coin is white. He also cannot see the other um, coin in the envelope. So the question here is whether uh, the person should change the envelope in order to get the right um, coin or not. So here actually uh, the question is just asking um, which probability so either, um, for example, here I just say this is envelope 1 and envelope 2. So which envelope has the higher chance that people currently are holding? So for example, if the person held um, the envelope 2, then of course the next move he will get a riot. However, if it's first envelope, he cannot get. So what is going to ask is, um, compare the probability that person held um, the envelope 1 or envelope 2. So here uh, we could say there are two envelopes, so there are two um, active act, um, project here. Um, one is E1 and the other is E2. And we use um, B um, or you could say W since um, in the lecture notes it's um, black. So here is white coin and here is a, a, a red, red coin, sorry. So the probability that E1 by given is really a, a white coin is this. And the probability holding an A2 with the probability oh, with the condition of a white coin um, is P E2 by W by white coin here. So here what we're going to do is we just pick it out, that is E1 and W, just follow um, the formula and here's E2, W. So here the E1 and W, so first it will pick the E1 and next it will pick W. So um, actually the probability to get either envelope one or envelope two, or uh, just one, just a half, since when you pick an envelope, um, they are both equal. So first is when I'm calculating a one, is actually half, and in order to get a white um, coin from first envelope, uh, is absolutely hundred percent since there were only two white coins in the envelope and that is one here and next I'm going to uh, divide by um, 
the probability of a white coin in these two envelopes. So there are actually four coins and three of them are actually white. So if I pick randomly a, a, um, a coin from these four coins, then it's actually three over four. So this is its probability. And we can calculate this and it is three, two over three. And this is the same. Um, if, we, if we want to pick the envelope two, then it's one half. However, the only difference here is if you want to get the white coin in envelope two, then it's just um, half chance, 50% of chance that you can get this instead of the red one. And here the probability of getting a white coin from this four uh, is just three over four. So here we get we can get the value. Okay, so this is one third. So now since um, there is a higher chance that you get the first envelope since it's two over three, while there is only uh, one third of chance to get a second envelope. Hence, um, in order for us to get the red coin, we have to change to a second envelope, and that is why we have to switch the envelope at this case. So hopefully um, this tutorial is clear and uh, whatever concerns or questions you have, please leave comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.